breaking news coming to us from Washington, D.C. tonight, where anti-Trump protesters have clashed with police. This is happening outside the National Press Club, where a pro-Trump event named the Deplora Ball was being held. Officers used pepper spray to disperse the crowd after protesters began throwing trash at those who support the president-elect. Now, these protests erupting just hours ahead of the 58th presidential inauguration. Authorities are bracing for more protests, not just in D.C., but in cities across the country as we get closer and closer to the big event. Good evening. I'm Sarah Donchi. Dominique is on assignment. And I'm Bill Baessa. Thank you for joining us. Despite these protests, the big story tonight is the flurry of activity in our nation's capital tonight, including several big events. Earlier tonight, President-elect Trump attended a candlelight dinner at Union Station's main hall after another huge event billed as the Make America Great. Great Again welcome concert at the Lincoln Memorial. At both events, Trump thanked everyone for their support to create a, quote, movement no one has seen before. I'll tell you one thing. I outworked everybody. I think I outworked anybody who ever ran for office. I learned that from Belichick, right? But we outworked them. We are covering every element of the presidential inauguration for you. Our Keith Garvin is in the nation's capital, and my co-anchor Dominique Soxa is in Maryland, where the black tie and boots inaugural ball was held tonight. She's joining us live now. D. Bill, Sarah, we are in celebratory mode here tonight in Maryland. 9,000 of our closest Texas friends are joining us. This is a convention center hotel ballroom that is packed with cowboy hats and cowboy boots. I feel like I haven't gone far from home. A lot of big smiles, a lot of people feeling really good about what's happening. Uh, it, it's an interesting crowd, a lot of food and drink. We have seen the Gatlin brothers perform. We saw former Texas Tech head men's bas basketball coach Bobby Knight bring on the Beach Boys tonight. So there have been a lot of star sightings. And I've got one more for you. Joining me is Nancy Gonzalez. She is Miss Texas USA. Now, Nancy, you are originally from Atascacita, but you're representing Kima, right? Yes, it's been such a blessing to go to Miss Texas USA. As Miss Kima, I had the great support of the city and the the community just really pushing you forward and making sure you're ready to compete. And tell us about your role here at the Texas Black Tie and Boots Gala. I've been given the opportunity to say the Pledge of Allegiance at the events both nights, last night and today. And then I've also had a tour of Washington, D.C., and I've gone to meet people from Congress and senators. So it's really, really a great time. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, especially for Texas, because so many Texans are here. And it's a historic moment. I'm so blessed to be here. And what's next for you in competition? I will be going to Miss USA. We do not have the dates yet, but as soon as they tell us, we will let everyone know. Okay, well, go Texas. Go we Texas. wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Anyway, the party continues. I wish you were here, but I have to send it back to you in the studio. All right, Dee, thanks a lot. Great job. Have a good time. We'll see you a little bit later. Sarah? We will. 900,000 people are expected to attend tomorrow's inauguration ceremony. With an event of that magnitude, 28,000 local, state, and federal officers will be providing security. Here's another big number for you. 100 million. That is the total cost of the inauguration. 100 groups, both pro and anti-Trump, are planning demonstrations.